Tomorrow marks the start of the World Powerlifting Championships in Manchester, England. Mike Stagg, longtime powerlifter and local trainer, will be one of six athletes from the United States competing in this event. He's also coach to another competitor, Aaron Vincent, an aspiring powerlifter looking to follow in the footsteps of family. With a love for lifting, Eyewitness News' Michael Gross has more. Definitely gets me out of my comfort zone because I don't think I'm as strong as I really am. Uh, you know, for Aaron's size and, and her age, she's really strong. Uh, in fact, she, she's quite a bit stronger than she realizes even now. When we finally get her to, to actually believe how strong she is, there's no telling what she'll be able to do. Aaron Vincent, once a bodybuilder, found a passion for powerlifting at the pit, one of Evansville's oldest barbell clubs. Her trainer and gym owner, Mike Stagg, helped Aaron make the transition, and it couldn't have gone any better. Mike noticed how much I was lifting and convinced me to try powerlifting. So after the bodybuilding competition, a week later, I entered my first powerlifting competition and placed first in my weight class. It really goes to show you never know how much you're capable of, especially when you impress the ones closest to you. She's quite a young lady, and uh, she's done a lot of different things throughout her lifetime, and this, this is probably what a, we, we couldn't believe she'd be doing this. But for Erin and her family, weightlifting runs in the blood. Uh, both of my brothers did powerlifting and bodybuilding. Um, my younger brother passed away last July, and him and I had always talked about doing some sort of competition together, and we kind of put it off and put it off. And so uh, finally in January, I got my mind straight and got back in the gym and started training. Jeremiah was always an inspiration to Aaron, a loving, caring brother and a competitor in his own right. Both of her brothers were. But her work ethic is a bit different, at least according to her father. And him and Jeff were really competitive as far as uh, who was the strongest and toughest and all that stuff. And then here we got Aaron. I'm not, she might be out doing both of them. With the memory of her brother in mind, she can only hope he's watching down with a smile on his face and also a competitive gene or two still flowing. I think he'd be proud but shocked that I've made it this far. <laughs> Maybe a little jealous. At the pit, Michael Gross. Did you warm up? No. You're going straight to... I'm just going to wing it. That's how I roll. Eyewitness News. And after competing in the World Powerlifting Championships in England, Erin's goal is to coach her own powerlifting team, a Posey County team that will be heading to the Special Olympics next year. All right, coming up next,